Hello friends, if you are new to Instagram or if you're just not sure exactly how to use Instagram, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get started with Instagram and everything that you need to know about the app and what the features are. Now let's jump into the phone and I will show you how to use Instagram. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your phone and click on the app store and you can see a picture of that here to the left. Once you do that, to the right hand side, you will see this. Type the word Instagram in the search. Then when it pops up, just go ahead and open up the app. Once you click on the app, it's going to ask you if you want to log in with your Facebook or if you want to sign up with your phone and email. Now, Instagram is basically Instagram was created by Facebook. So Facebook actually bought Instagram a while back. I think it was like around 2018, something like that. You do have to be about 12 years old to use the app and they have well over a million users. Okay, so I'm going to choose to log in with my phone, with my phone number, and then you'll see the arrow pointing to the right, which that's the next screen that you will get. So you'll go ahead and enter your email or your phone number, then hit next. Then you'll see that where it says to add your name, go ahead and add your name. Then it will ask you to create a password. Make sure you use a strong password. Save your password so that way you don't have to keep remembering, remembering it all the time when you, when you try to log into Instagram. Then hit next. Do the right hand side. You're going to see it's going to give you a welcome. And here you have the opportunity to change your username if you would like, or you can just hit next. Then the next screen you'll see to the right hand side, far right. It says find friends on Facebook. And if you want to at this time, you can click on the connect to Facebook or you can just skip it. Then it'll ask you, of course, if you want to find contacts, people who are on your phone, maybe they have an Instagram account. It's, this will help you to find those people if you want to do that at this time, or you can hit skip. Then. Next, you will see add profile photo. At this time, you can add a profile photo or you can just skip it for now. Then you can go ahead and connect to friends. It'll show you just a bunch of random people, you know, like Nike and, you know, just different people that you can subscribe to. And what you want to do is on the right hand side, it says follow. Just click on that follow and you can follow that person. When, you're, when you follow that person, you'll be able to like see all their posts and their, you know, who they follow and who follows them and you'll be able to um, like their post and communicate with them, leave them a message if you like. Okay, so now we're going to go to my Instagram account and I'm just going to kind of basically go over uh, starting from the left to the right. I'm going to explain a little bit about what the different buttons and stuff where you can find different things that you might want to do on Instagram. So the first thing there to the left hand side, you'll see an arrow pointing there that says pro your profile. All of that there is your profile. It says you can choose to say that you're a public figure or that you're into fitness and health or a lot of other options. The way that you edit your profile or how you create a profile, because when you first start, you don't have one is you want to hit the little um, icon there that says edit profile. And when you click that, it'll give you different lines and it'll ask you, well, I don't think it asks you anything. Just go ahead and put down whatever you want. Like the best thing for you to put on there would be like, what do you do? What do you help people with? Like here on mine, you can see I, sit, I put raw vegan chef. I have a lot of ebooks that are published on Amazon also. So I put Arthur and coach, author and coach. And I also help people with like their health, wealth, how to make money, how to stay healthy, 
a lot of inspirational stuff. And then I also have a link there. It lets you, Instagram allows you to put one link and you can put, if you have a website, you can put that link on there. Or I use a tab, I mean, a link called Social Tab. No, not Social Tab. I use a link called Socia Tab. But there are a variety of different ones out there that you can use. And that one in particular lets you have a variety of other, of other links that lead to other places. So that is how you create your profile and what you want to put in your profile. Next, on the picture to the right-hand side, the first arrow is pointing to post, followers, and following. These are the people who are following you, who you're following, and how many posts you've posted. Then you have stories. Those are the little round circles that you see in the middle of the of your page. Well, actually, you probably won't have any because you haven't created any. First, you have to create the stories in order to put them there. And then you can save them and put them there. They don't just automatically go there. You have to create a story first, and then you save it, and you name it, and you add a little picture to it, and all of that. And that's where the stories will go when you, once you create them. Okay, next, I want to show you Reels. On Instagram, if you go to the, down to the middle of your phone, the first arrow to the left-hand side, it points your reels. When you click on that icon at the top, that one, sh that one will show you what your reels are, not what other people's reels are, just yours alone. Then below that, there's another reels app or button that one will show you, when you click on that one, that one will show you other people's reels. And if you look to the right-hand side, that's just an example of what you'll see when, you, when it shows you other people's reels. Okay, on the left-hand side, you'll see towards the very bottom, it looks like a little house. When you click on that, that will show you pictures or posts that your, whoever it is that you're following, whatever post they have posted, when you click on that, it will show you the post that they have just posted. Then on the right-hand side, that's just an example of someone I follow and one of their pictures. If you click on the little heart, it, it's a like. You hit that little heart and it lets them know that you like their post. Then next to that, there's a com it's a little comment section what you do is if you like the post and you want to leave them a comment you can click on that and then it'll allow you to type your message and then you can send the message to them and they'll see it in the post and so will other people will also see that post that you put on there now next to that you'll see something that looks like a little plane like a little paper plane if you want to leave that person a private message, a message that only they will see but no one else will see, that's what you click right there. Then to the far right hand side, you'll see something that looks like a little ribbon. If you like that post and you wanna save it for later, you can just put your finger on there for a second. If you just push it really quick, it'll just save it automatically because you, you can have different files. Like let's just say you want to have a file for um, dresses and then one for foods and then one for um, baseball or something. What you can do is you hold for a second or so down on that ribbon and then it'll, a little box will pop up saying, where do you, do you want to create a folder for this? And then you just, and it'll say to name that folder and you can name this folder food. And then in the future, when you have other foods that you want to save the pictures, you just hit that little, you just hit the little ribbon and you put it to the folder that it belongs to. Okay, on that same post, if you scroll down, you'll see the message, the full message of the person that, you know, the person who created the post. If they did a little message that goes along with the post, you'll be able to see that post. Then below that post, you can also leave a comment 
and then hit post and they will receive that comment along with everybody else who sees that post can also see that comment. Then to the far right, if you keep scrolling down on that same post, to the right hand side, you'll see other people's comments and you'll see the comments that that person replied to. The person who created the post, you'll see their comments in reply to their people's comments. Okay, if you wanna learn how to create posts, stories, story highlights, Instagram TV, or reels, or a guide, what you can do is on the far left here, you can see up at the very top, there's a, a, a plus sign. You click on that plus sign, then to the right hand side, you'll get this window will pop up that shows you, you know, the post, story, story highlights, and you click on whichever one of those you want to create for your own profile. Okay, so let's just say that you want to find something that you're interested in. Let's just say you want to find like either Kim Kardashian's um, Instagram or you want to find, you know, some kind of cartoon Instagram or whatever it is that you're trying to find. What you do is you go to the very bottom of your profile. If you look right there on the left, there's an arrow and you click on the magnifying glass to search for people or even you can even search for companies like Nike anything that you want to search for you can just click on that little arrow and then that little magnifying glass and that's a search then to the right hand side this it'll bring you to, it'll look like this it'll just show you a lot of random stuff then at the very top where it says search that's where you would type in like Kim Kardashian or whatever it is you're trying to, to search then when you find it, it will pop up a lot of different Kim Kardashian's Instagram posts. Instagrams will pop up. Then you can just click whichever one you want to look at. And then when you find one that you like, you can just go ahead and follow that one. Then also to the left hand side, at the very bottom, you'll see a little thing that looks like a little purse. Well, that's actually, this is kind of new to Instagram. Not that new, but it's kind of new. It's a shop where you can actually do some shopping in Instagram. So all you do is click on that and it'll bring up a lot of shops. And you can also, it also has a search at the very top if you want to, if you're looking for something specific like purses or dresses, whatever it is, and, they'll, and then different shops who sell those items will pop up and you can do some shopping and at Instagram. So I hope you guys found this useful and don't forget to subscribe and like and also let me know below if there are other videos that you would like to see me make. I would be more than happy to make them for you. So I hope you guys have a great one. And I will see you on my next video.